This is my 60, episode 22. Rumours that I was waiting for the 1-2 mini hype to die down are completely false. This episode may even get the R Custom Keyboard seal of approval. This QXP looks amazing in this shot and is one of only about 75 that were in the group by. I like the lip which reminds me of my TXCP with the older design. GMK Pristine isn't a pure white like Stormtrooper, which this photo captures really well. If I put a key set called Pristine on any of my keyboards, the irony would be too much. I'd be all in for GMK Detritus though. A Cerakoted QXP and the black on black Imsto set I'm a big fan of. They're more like a very dark grey in real life, so there's more contrast than the naming would suggest. A pretty exotic choice of PCB on this one with the Liku. And the ever polarising HHKB layout. Having used my HHKB tofu for a while now, I can say that I'm not going to be converting. Maybe one day I'll see the light. Put your no true HHKB logical fallacies in the comments. My homeland has put out some pretty tidy looking keyboards too, you know. Zondat boards are unarguably worthy of the custom name and are highly regarded. I find the names and special editions pretty confusing though. This is a polycarbonate 268.2 and has been treated to vintage blacks with Crytox 104 lube sprit springs, with the sliders and bottom housings getting 205 grey zero. This is a keyboard that has had hours of care put into it. Another HHKB style layout here, this time on a board with a completely different look. The M60A is another Rama board that has high-end looks while trying to make things as accessible as possible when it comes to putting it together. It's like buying a Wagyu steak at 7-Eleven. While I say keycaps aren't for me, Penumbra is one of my oldest sets and I just can't part with it. Instead of the usual yellow tinted alphas, these are the solarized alphas, which look much less 70s. This is Nordic Noir, the unnecessary stripped away. Does the bleakness of your reality unnerve? Black on black? No. It's never that simple. Look. What lies beneath the surface? Time erodes the facade to reveal the mountain. Thanks to the owners for agreeing to let me use their picks and as always the relevant links are in the description. Drop a comment and share this video with your internet friends. I'll see you next time.